thing I want to do is I want it to, um, before I built all this, I still had it in the breadboard and everything. I ran a test on this switch to see how fast the thing would run. And um, I'm going to put that next in the video to where you can see that and see how fast this counter can actually count. Because we used a 5500 RPM motor to basically spin a disc that um, and it had a groove cut in it where it would count every time that groove passed. So you'll see it in just a minute, but that's that's what I'm going to do next and just kind of show you how fast this, this counter can actually can really count. All right, guys, so here's the setup, what we got going on here. Um, I've got the nano board on top right there with the code and everything on it, and it's running, of course, everything that we got here. Um, I've got the sensor mounted on this rod right here, and the sensor's got this little disc going right through it. And I just cut this out with a compass and a piece of cardboard, and as you can tell right here, it's got a little groove cut in it to where every time it passes that sensor, it adds a tick to our counter here. So basically, the only way I know to test this thing out is to get this thing up at full throttle, reset the nano board, and then try to hit the start button on this timer at the exact time that this starts counting. Because there is a little delay when I hit this button. It, this will take just a, a few seconds for it to actually reset. So we're going to try to get as close as we can to see how good this thing does. So I'm going to cut it on just let you see how the motor winds up. It does really well so far. It's just like the old motor and kind of gets going. So it works pretty good with the uh, motor speed controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it all the way up, full throttle. Now I'm going to try to get this timer in here where we can see it. And I'm going to reset this program here and I think I was a little off there. A little bit close, maybe. Stopped it a little early, but anyways, so we're at 5426 and we're within the hundred that I was wanting to. I so I think this thing is fully capable of counting whatever we need it to count. Um, I, the, the motor, the only thing I'm worried about with this motor is I don't know how powerful this thing is. So if it's not powerful enough to run the, the pickup winder, I'm probably going to go with something else. But I did want to try this one out just like I said because it's cheap, it was eight dollars, and if it works, it's can still be a cheap pickup winder. You know what I mean kind of deal. Well, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, the only thing I got left to do once I finally put this, this thing in the um, pickup winder, once I get all that stuff done, is I've got to put some type of fuse in here to protect us and not only us, the circuit too as well, to where if we have any kind of surge or anything goes wrong, at least it's going to not blow the thing up, I guess. Now, this the counter is basically done. And the next thing I'm going to work on is the RPM gauge. Um, and I'm going to use this nano board for that. And I've got the, the program to run it. I just hadn't figured out how to get the it to print out on a display yet. So that's going to be that's going to be the next test and that's probably going to be the thing that I'm working on the most in the next video and trying to get that done. Now as far as the polarity checker goes, I think I've kind of shot away from just doing a whole a gauss meter and everything. So I think that might be um, more than I can chew. The more and more I looked at the circuits and stuff on it, I just, I think keep it simple, stupid is kind of the best way to go with it. But um, what I want now is, is just a polarity checker to where when you stick a magnet up there, it'll tell you if it's the north polarity or if it's south polarity. And then that's done and it might just be a total circuit by itself um if we I can figure out a way to use a nano board with it um we'll do that now, i'd like to use one board for both of those for the rpm and the um for the rpm and the uh, polarity checker so if you're if you're really knowledgeable on nano boards and on arduino hit me up shoot send me a message or an email or something and help me out if there's uh what would be the best way to do that because 
like I said, I made this channel for all of us to help each other. So that's what I'm here to do, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments about it, leave them below. And if you like the video, give me a like. And if you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.